selected the videos we want to transcode, we basically select the device we want to transcode them for. One of the cool things you have your device plugged in, it already knows what your device is, so it's easy. But if I wanted to transcode this in the, in the background and be able to download it later, this is what I would do. So I have a Blackberry, I'd select my Blackberry and say this is what I want to use the uh, Blackberry generic. I want to say I want to save it in this particular MPEG-4 format, AAC, 320 by 240, 4x3 screen. That's, that, that would fit your device. And you would say, okay, let's go ahead and transcode. We have the ability to transcode simultaneously four files at one time. The 100 meg file that just got transcoded is um, actually a 365 meg, 280 and 160, less than five seconds, less than four seconds, and 52, uh, three seconds. So we did about, uh, let's see, about 800 meg worth of uh, data in less than 10 seconds. And that would also include the transfer to the device. So if you had a two-hour, let's just say you had a two-hour movie that you captured from your HTC PC at home, two hours um, transcoded into an MPEG-4 um, file onto your device, less than three minutes. Yeah, that's pretty good. So, and that's using the Intel Sandy Bridge hardware. Again, that's, that's not just our software. I mean, I, we're, we've got it also, you know, the caveat is there is some hardware behind this. Even, you know, we have a very good experience using the older hardware, but the new Sandy Bridge, very, very fast. So is it this Media Express, so is this a standalone product? It, it is a standalone product available from Cyberlink, um, $39. It's out 